Okay, let's take a quick break from the golf ball to tell you about DJI. Now, before they ever reached out to me for a sponsorship, I owned one of these. I bought one at the beginning of the year um, to use for the Airstream restoration, and it has been a ton of fun to operate. I want to tell you a little bit about the DJI Mavic Mini. Mavic Mini offers the ability to capture high-quality footage, including 2.7K video at 30 frames per second, 1080p at 60 frames, and 12 megapixel photographs. It has a three-axis motorized gimbal that supports and stabilizes the camera, ensuring the footage is smooth and cinematic. The Mavic Mini is pocket size, only weighing 250 grams, but it builds upon technological innovations of DJI's more expensive flagship drone models. Not only is the Mavic Mini ultra light, but it also has high grade motors, which provide up to 30 minutes of flight time. This drone is ideal for those who have always wanted a drone, but have been a little bit intimidated by the flight of a drone. DJI has simplified the flying and content capturing experience so everyone can pilot this drone. After piloting this thing for five or six months and kind of getting used to it, I can tell you I've made some mistakes and I've crashed it twice. It's pretty darn durable. It still works, no issues. I've run into a tree once, I ran into my door once. Um, and with the Mavic Mini combo kit that they sent me, I now have these cages that can go around the propeller. So when I fly this in the shop, it can actually hit walls and bounce off things and not get damaged. I want to say a big thanks to DJI for sponsoring the video. Now they are offering my viewers 5% off. Just click the link in the description. Uh, you can get 5% off a Mavic Mini or Mavic Mini Fly More combo. Stay tuned at the end of this video. We're going to shoot some really cool drone footage of us hitting the golf balls. And we almost, almost took one of these out of the sky.
Okay, so here they are. Really pretty cool. Came out looking good. It took probably four or five to figure this out. You know, the first few are pretty cattywampus. Not quite uh, perfect. This one's pretty gnarly looking. Um, the process, really, you have to keep it. There's three axes you got to keep turning the ball on. And you got to take off just enough material. If you take off too much, you mess it up. So you're just hitting the high spots. Um, this is not my technique. It's Frank Howard's technique. I learned it from him. A really cool YouTuber. Um, I've watch, been watching his channel for a while. So I'll link it in the description. Uh, he turns some really cool um, spheres and all kinds of crazy stuff. So I would highly recommend you go check it out. The next step, obviously, here is to go and hit these. So that's what we're going to do now. I've got a very cool spot picked out to hit these. Also got a good buddy of mine coming with me who is a much better golfer than I am. So um, we're going to launch these. And I'm going to get to use my old Osage driver. I made this probably two and a half years ago on this channel. And I've really only hit this once um, on that video. So uh, it'll be kind of fun to use this. Actually hit a wood ball with a wood club. We'll see uh, how that works and how that feels. So let's go knock this out. Okay, so here we are. Um, if you watch YouTube, you probably know where I am right now. And you can probably see these are some amazing views. This is Matt Carricker's abandoned mansion, which I don't know if you can call it abandoned anymore. Uh, he is getting it all fixed up. It was abandoned maybe five or six months ago. I've got my good buddy Jared. He's floating around here somewhere. I don't know where he went. We're going to launch golf balls way out into the abyss. We've got a beautiful view, beautiful day. So this is Jared. Jared hey, guys. Hi. Huge fan. He, Huge uh, fan. <laughs> You were a professional golfer at one point, right? Uh, for a small time. Just so, was not that good. Much better golfer than I am. What do you think What do you think about what we're doing right now? Well, I'm pretty pumped. I'm you... wondering the difference between a normal golf ball compression and a wooden golf ball with zero compression. That's a great point. What that does. Yeah. So I'm not sure. We're going to find out. Now, what do I think about what we're doing? <laughs> like, this is the best way to spend a Friday. Don't you think this view is amazing? Oh, my goodness. I just, there's, if there's anything I want to do off this porch is just launch golf balls off. All right. Let's start with walnut. Walnut. All right. You tell me when you're ready. I'm ready when you are. Okay. Everything's going. I feel so good about this. Walnut. First time to ever hit a wooden golf ball in my life. Did you, that sounded like a really hard impact. Well, it doesn't have quite the trajectory of a normal golf ball. It kind of just, just dove straight down. <laughs> yeah, that's a good time. Did you hit one? Yeah. Okay, this, so this one is mesquite. Okay. This is a lot lighter. Is that pretty light, right? Yeah, it's not going to go far. It's not? No. I'm going to do, so what I was taught to do in golf is grip it and rip it, so I'm just going to swing. Close your eyes and swing as hard as you can. Straight to the tree, so it, it went. I like topped a, it. it was, no, it was a rocket. It was, was for it? sure a rocket. Yes. <laughs> like so cool. <laughs> oh, I broke. It broke. Yes. Look at that. No. Wow, that's crazy. You're just so it's expected. That long leaf I thought would break because it's very like yeah. brittle. Incredible. I'm so and it sounded really cool. Oh, it's your turn. Wood driver, wood golf ball. It feels kind of cool the fact that I've made both of these items. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to change the world. I'm not going to change the world. You, you Actually, you probably change the world. No. This feels like it's a, for any golfer that's watching, this is like a one degree driver. Like it's about as <laughs> so flat as possible. You want it more? You, you want it about 10 degrees. Okay. But this is like, this will tear down a house. And that's, that's why I went right into the bushes. <laughs> you didn't hit felt, that very far. It felt good. But look at that, man. It's right in the middle of the club. Oh, face. yeah. See, I was a little on the toe, right? And look how much deeper yours went. You're just so strong. Well, I'm, I'm gripping it and ripping Pure it. Pure muscle. <laughs> 